Welcome, Agent. Welcome to boot camp, recruit. I'm Sergeant Wheeler, and I'm here to teach you all you'll need to know to become an elite member of our cyber warfare unit. Your recruitment officer told me you've got a decent head on your shoulders, and I'm here to find out whether or not that's an accurate assessment. I sure hope you don't disappoint. We only take the best at Night Team 4. Night stands for Network Intrusion and Technical Evaluation. Your task is to identify, infiltrate, and gather intelligence from computer systems used by enemies of the Black Watchmen. Governments are short on time and resources, so it's up to us to take action. We address imminent global threats that can't wait for bureaucracy. Because we're a covert organization operating outside the rules of engagement that govern our allies, intelligence agencies around the world seek our help. Before we cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war, you have some training to do. Ready for the challenge? Then let's lock in. Select the Stinger OS Basic certification in the panel on your left. That will bring up an information screen on your right. Then click Access Certification to begin training. Good luck, recruit. The Stinger operating system is our own cyber warfare and network intrusion platform. It's a beautiful piece of software, built by combining the most advanced open source hacking modules from civilian and military sources. If you've experienced any penetration testing platforms like Kali or Metasploit, you'll recognize similarities. Zoning out already? Okay, I know most of you have the attention span of a goldfish when it comes to basic training, but mastering this intrusion platform is key to becoming a lethal cyber warfare agent in the field. Ready to get started? Let's familiarize ourselves with the Stinger OS menu. If this takes more than five minutes, I'll fire our user interface team. Only kidding, it'll be easier to fire you. Less paperwork. Each certification is broken up into three stages, and your objective will automatically update as we progress. Click Initiate Phase 1 on your left panel, and I'll pass you over to one of our agents to take it from here. Dylan's trained many of our recruits, so you're in good hands. Com check, 1127. Hey, this is Agent Dylan. I'll be your wingman during training. Word of advice, it's always the know-it-alls who make the biggest mistakes. We can't afford mistakes, so keep a level head. As Wheeler explained, you're starting basic and building up from there. Go to the information gathering menu on your left and launch the fingerprint module. Drag the window around a bit and uh, complete the test by typing the command help. Easy, right? Information gathering module initiated. Excellent! You can listen and follow basic orders. That's not as common as you'd imagine. The Stinger OS lets you access resources from other divisions within the Black Watchmen. Division 40 is in charge of IMINS, the Imagery Intelligence Section, and MASINS, the Measurement and Signature Intelligence. They provide you with satellite feeds and drone coverage during operations. You can access these services at the bottom of your screen. Division 40 is the fourth icon from the left. Click it and enter the following coordinates. 38 latitude, minus 77 longitude. Once you activate the satellite, click the back to globe link to end your task. Drone and imagery intelligence active.
Drone and Imagery Intelligence, active. Nice! Before completing the certification, I want you to check out your agent profile. It's at the top left of your Stinger OS. Change your avatar and return here to finish this certification. I love this part. It's fun to see what you newbies are made of and separate the wheat from the chaff. Right, domain name reconnaissance. You'll need the DNS and vhost mapping module, which you'll find in the information gathering menu. The first command you've got to learn is the S fuzzer. S fuzzer launches a good old fashioned dictionary attack against the domain name, trying thousands of the most common subdomains used on the net. If you S fuzz a domain name like 194.com, the dictionary will first try the obvious www before moving on to other subdomains like mail, ftp, or extranet.194.com. Each time a domain name answers positively to an S fuzzer request, it will show as active. Since that's all automated, you just need to decide how long to run the dictionary attack. The longer you run it, the more words it tries and the more potential access points you gain. Remember, the attack always starts with the most common words. 10 to 20 seconds is a good enough benchmark for easy targets. Well, what are you waiting for? You're the one who needs to get certified, not me. Open that DNS and vhost module and launch a 10 second dictionary attack on the domain name 1904.com. If you get stuck, follow the instructions on the terminal. Information gathering module initiated. Another way of finding domain names is through a search engine's database, like Google, Yahoo, Bing, and the likes. Ask Jeeves isn't as useful anymore. Sometimes a search engine will accidentally index a private subdomain because of an oversight, leaked reference, or careless third party. We're here to take advantage of that mistake. I want you to use the osintscan command on 194.com and specify a database to look through. To look through Google Database, you will type dash s google.com. To ask for the first 500 results in the search engine, you simply add dash d 500. So your final command will be os int scan dash s google.com dash d 500. If you get stuck, the instruction should help. Information gathering module initiated. Excellent work! You know what you have now? The expertise to quickly identify potential entry points in an enemy network. You have the keys to their house. Of course, once you're inside the house, you'll need a new strategy. There's one last trick to the OSN scan command. 
Sometimes, a server can host multiple domains. Though one domain could be protected, another could be vulnerable. IP addresses are unique numbers that identify internet servers, and if you search by IP, you'll find all domains and subdomains present on that server. This doesn't just locate entry points. It helps discover links between organizations, like a supplier or a sister company that shares the same server. Right, let's finish up. Execute an OSN scan on our IP address, 98.124.199.93. Information gathering module initiated. 